don't know, man. I think I want this car, man. I think I want this car, man. What y'all think? I think I should get it. This thing is kind of smooth. That's a Honda, bro. That's the joint I want, bro. The Hellcat Durango. I'd be happy, bro. I work my way up to the Hellcat engine, bro. That shit is sexy, bro. No bullshit. I guess I guess it's another day in a life vlog, man. Um, my life is kind of in shambles right now. I mean, my car is basically um, giving out, so I gotta get a new transmission. How y'all doing this morning, oh man? Comment down below. Let me know, man. If whatever time be watching this jump, morning, night time. How's your day going? How your day went? You know, let me know, man. How y'all been doing this summer, man? What's y'all plans? Cause I'm trying to have fun. Ready? Ready to go? Come on, pup. Feel good out here, man. He won't be in the camera today, y'all. He ain't shy today. He ain't shy today. Yeah, pup. Get in the grass, man. Go. Uh, about to go for a nice little jog. Now the sun won't come out. That's crazy. I wanted to talk to y'all though, cause I just seen this guy the other day, man. Would y'all quit y'all job to follow y'all dreams, bro? Like, Brody real life was working a great job. I'm talking, he worked at a hospital. Bro real life called the hospital. In the morning, he was supposed to go in and said, I'm putting in my resignation to basically do YouTube full time. And I'm like, damn. Like, that's getting out of the rat race. That's real life, like, following your dreams. And I was like, man, am I in a position to do that? Like, I'm monetized on YouTube, you know. I'm making pretty good money. I just graduated and stuff. I don't know, bro. It's kind of crazy to me, but full support to him because it just made me want to start being more consistent on YouTube and pushing out videos for y'all. So, that's what we're going to do. You got to bet on yourself, man. Nowadays, see how shit costs a lot. Cost of living is a lot. You want to start that business? Do it. You want to start that YouTube channel? You like editing? Do it, man. You can do that shit from your phone. That's what I do, man. I record off my phone until I'm financially stable enough to get a whole setup that I keep, you know, envisioning for myself, man. It's important to invest in yourself, whether it's mental health, you know, physical health, all that, bro. Read books, you know, read the Bible, pray, you know, Set out goals, make goals, achieve your goals. It's important to do that, man, because you building yourself. You building your self-esteem. You building your confidence up. Man, whatever you want to do, the sky is the limit, man. You only live here once, man. Take risks and do it. Have a self-talk with yourself. Sit down, figure out what you want to do, what you want to be good at, what you want to invest yourself in. Hell, if you want to get that certification, that license, that job, go get it, man. Ain't nobody going to stop you but you. Since I graduated, I have like a different perspective on life and, and shit like that. Like, I made an achievement that my mom and my father didn't even do. Me and my brother are literally the only two graduates in our family. First generation fraternal, fraternity members, first generation college graduates, man. It's like, I made a good achievement, but it, it's like, if I don't invest that in myself, then it, it, was, it was for nothing. I mean, yeah, I got my degree, but everybody can get a degree, man. All you gotta do is go to school, put yourself in, in some debt, stay in there for four to five years, it's gonna come out and make sure you get your degree as long as you show up. 
But now after you walk across that stage, after you leave that ceremony, everybody expecting you to go out here and achieve great things, get a traditional job, paying you 100000 a year, man. It's hard. The economy is hard out here, man. It's hard for us out here, man. So it's like, man, what am I going to do next? You tired, pup? Huh? Huh? You tired? Just got back from the job. Finna go to the gym. Uh, it's arm day, man. <laughs> I got a couple big things coming up, man. I want to let y'all know. I got a, a big vlog coming up at the uh, end of June. June, June 26th will be the start of a vlog. It'd be like a six to seven day vlog, a week long vlog with me at um in Tampa for some for my fraternity, man. That should be a great time. I'm gonna be with the guys, be with the bros. Y'all can step into the life of the bros, you know, shit like that. Then when I get back home, we got NBC 10, man. No cap, man. July 20th, man. That, that vlog gonna be crazy lit, man. So look, if this your first time watching my videos on my channel, welcome. You know, thank y'all for tapping in. Thank y'all for making it this far in the video. I know my name is Kobe, man. You feel me? I'm the bros. I'm a college graduate. You know, whatever you want to know, man. Um, I kind of think of myself as an influencer, motivator positive vibe maker you feel me trendsetter <laughs> big stepper you feel me <laughs> but nah man i'm just i'm just a cool guy man that like that like vlogging and uh you know like doing different things on youtube man so tap into my channel man i'm gonna show y'all how easy it is for me to do 20 225 in the gym right like it's so easy for I haven't been to the gym in about a week now. And I'm finna go in here and warm up with 225, bro. <laughs> Just not leaving the goals, man. I told y'all, bro, that 225 is too easy for me, man. I might got warm up with 315. <laughs> My arms are dead, though. I did a little bit of um, rolls with uh, some calisthenic work. Then I just went to like the machines and did like a little bit of back and shoulders. So my arms are tight right now. But, ugh, time to go get a smoothie. And I ain't talking from Smoothie King or Tropical Smoothie, man. I'm about to put y'all on to this Wawa joint. This joint is amazing for real. But yeah, man, let me know how y'all feeling about the vlog, man. You know, if you're getting inspired to go to the gym and invest in yourself, man. Invest in yourself, man. All my life, bro. It's the only smoothie you need to get from Wawa. She put the extra sweet creamer in there, fool. This junk good as shit. Don't say I ain't put you on, fool. Just remember, man, you watching this video, when you go to Wawa, go ahead and get that fucking smoothie, pina colada. This junk be busting.
All right, child, it's the next day. I just got word back from my mechanic about my car because I've been carless for about three days now. My car is done. I got a new transmission in that junk, and I got some other work done to it. It's a pretty penny, but, you know, sometimes you got to pay the cost to be the boss. Get my car fixed. It should be running smoothly after today, so, you know, that's a good thing. But, damn! Yeah. We back in the Honda, man. We back in the Honda. Now I just got to get a real a wheel alignment, bruh. We should be good as new, man. Can I have a uh, breakdown of the bill? Hmm. Can I have a breakdown of the bill? How you doing? Uh, I just got some questions regarding the bill. So I was told by the mechanic that I can't get a wheel alignment unless I get two new tires because the threads was low. You, you did the line. Yeah, but the mechanic told me that in order for that to happen, I would have to buy the new tires as well. So I was told that over the phone. Okay. Um, I also have a question about the control arm that was replaced. Did you all do both? I think it was just one side. Um, so the mechanic called me. The mechanic called me and told me that he needed to buy the parts for the driver's side when the accident happened on the passenger side and I had the parts in the car, but he said that that was the wrong side. So we have to replace the left side. Of, he kept specifying the left side of the vehicle that I couldn't get the alignment unless I got new tires. I mean, I could go down the street and get new tires. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I understand. I just had work. It was a lot going on yesterday. I just wanted, I just wanted to get my car fixed to be honest, so. I mean, I'm happy to be back on wheels. Am I like, you know, kind of upset about paying that much money for my car to get fixed? I mean, no, but that's life, man. So, yeah, man. If you don't know, ask questions. Um, don't get angry, you know, don't lash out. Cause people don't know what people going through. You know, I just came in there calm, cool and collected and, uh, handle business. I mean, I had questions. I asked them. I didn't understand. I didn't come at them wrong. You know, I said it was a customer complaint, which it was. I was coming to them complaining. And, uh, you know, I think things worked out, man. Uh, yeah, let's see how it drives. This job is tough. Nah, that's two. No, that's seven. What? I don't know what's going on. He's locked one up, bro. Oh, Nah, these are some real push ups, though. Hold up. Hold up. Where's the highest? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>